or a bilateral cleft lip, incomplete or complete, have intact alveolus and intact palate. So they can feed directly from the breast or from any type of bottle system. If the mother is breastfeeding and has trouble making a good seal, a breast shield may help. For babies with a cleft of the soft palate only, they can be breastfed with the aid of a nipple shield which extends the nipple. Or they can be bottle fed using a regular nipple that has a small cross cut in it or some other adaptation to control the flow rate. For babies with cleft of the hard and soft palate or bilateral cleft lip and palate, there are a number of feeding devices available and it's a matter of trial and error to find the best option for each infant. The specialized feeders include a Haberman by Medela. To use this feeder, put the valve membrane into the nipple, white side facing the nipple. Screw the nipple on tightly, then turn it back one click looser. Squeeze the nipple and turn the feeder upside down. Repeat until milk fills the nipple. Then you're ready to feed the baby. With a Ross nipple, just screw the top on and keep the bottle horizontal to the baby's mouth until the baby wraps its tongue around the tip. No squeezing necessary. If you use the Mead Johnson Cleft Palace system, screw the top on and gently squeeze the bottle rhythmically in time to the baby's suck swallow. With the pigeon nipple, the white disc slips into the nipple so the three-prong knob faces toward the bottle. Screw the top on, squeeze the nipple to load it, then feed the baby with the air vent notched toward the nose. Another option is to make a large cross cut in a regular nipple to aid the flow. It's also possible to use a mono jet syringe to slowly inject liquid in rhythm with the baby's suck swallow. Before starting any feeding, swaddle the infant, which helps the baby concentrate and helps you control the feeder device. Sit in a comfortable chair and hold the baby in an upright position. Look for signs of rooting when the baby turns toward the touch of a cheek. Rest the nipple on the middle of the baby's tongue, angling it toward the intact part of the gum. Keep the hand and arm relaxed so the weight of the bottle is resting on the baby's tongue and lower lip. As the infant begins to suck, begin pulsing the nipple in rhythm with the baby's suck. This helps increase or decrease the flow. You may need to hold the bottle in a way that lets you place a finger under the chin to help the infant maintain the rhythm of the suck swallow. 30 minutes is enough time for a feeding. Beyond that, the infant is likely to tire. It's better to feed more often than prolong each feeding. If possible, record the amount of liquid consumed and be sure the baby is weighed every five days. When feeding the baby, it can sometimes be helpful to put your finger over the cleft, which helps create a better seal.